Hyper Music from Muse. Hi there. I, re I already put that song several times. Well, not several times, probably at least two times. Um, I guess on the stream. And I would do it a million times. That song is just way too good for this world. It's too much. See me stereo. Oh, good. How are you doing, Mr. Bot? You just got a bot on the stream. Nice. Anyway, welcome to the stream and hello. Today, we just keep going with this. Moon vibe, how are you doing? Stella, how is it going? This isn't just for first Gemini. Exactly, I know. I know. Sorry. I don't think I'm I'm ever gonna stream that. I mean, speed run that game. I might stream it someday. Who knows? But it, it's kind of kind of a painful game to to stream, honestly. I don't know. Maybe it's just that the frame rate. It's kind of painful. Oh, hang on. There you go. You gotta tell me if the music is too loud. Because I'm going with music here. I'm not going with the game sound this time. Which there was a category for killing all tribbles. Uh, I guess... <laughs> I guess you can do it anyways, because it sounds kind of fun, like revenge percent for all the people that suffered with the game, pretty much. <laughs> so what am I doing this time? Uh, I need to, well just the same as the other time, I'm, I'm gonna start with some punches and kicks this time because I want to be extremely sure about numbers I wasn't so sure last time, sadly This is Diaz, exactly That is Diaz And he just got hit So uh, Where do I go? I need Let's start with the Super Smash Bros. No, Super Smash Brothers. The, the song should have the, the sound effect. That should be illegal to play that song without the sound effect. Like, what the fuck? I'm disappointed. I'm slightly disappointed. Give me a second, I need to open my window a little bit. It's, it's, it's kind of hot right here. Exactly. I, I totally missed that. I, I can't just go without it. Anyway. Okay, this is just double check. I already did this. But let's do it again. Just a little bit. Oh no, hang on. I fucked it up already. Because I need a tech. I need a couple decks. Let me get that sound gate a little bit up for the dogs. Right. Um, what was this? Leave up. No, no, no. Move it. Please. Thanks. And... Where's, where's the thing I'm looking for? Headhunger. So these two techniques are very effective to damage limbs. Which is kind of what I need for some monsters. Let me go back here. I'm gonna get both. And then I need... Enemy. 
We're gonna fix this on 100. Uh, the rest is fine. Alright. I was just set up. And a bunch of setup. Started with upper hug immediately. So R is one. Both R's are one. Now we need to pray to get an L. That might take a while. I wonder if I can change the the stance of this guy so it, it does the other one. Maybe not. something um, I would a mut mutant alien thing box in instead of using claws I don't know I mean it kind of used the claws right okay L is also so I actually changed the thing for some reason like I bet they choose they chose hooks because they kind of look like it's slashing. Oh fucker! Give me a, a mid one. I know you wanna you wanna do a mid one. No. Mid oh L. Might die. Okay, good. Doesn't want to do it. I know what I'm doing is pretty silly, but... That's the true reason that all of them are human-sized and she... <laughs> yeah. with that that's fine I don't think any hook will be more than one we're getting this fucking song boys I need another window okay let's go for a high kick then fuck bunches I guess you can do a kind of a theory of that. I think it's... At least on Star Trek, it would be less about why aliens look like us and why we look like aliens, you know? You can make the argument that uh, like we are descendants of them or we have a common... Um, like a, a common root. On another species. He has no style. He has no grace. This car of course, it's ridiculous, but face. you can make sense of it if you want. When he needs to and stretches all out just for you. Oh, I should get like stamina too. This great Z car just sing this too. <laughs> Tattoo and this 
Upper punch? That's is that low health? Yeah, okay. So R is first. Come on, give me a lift. No, you want to do it. Doesn't want to. Come on, Cranky. Take it to the bridge. All nut, peanut, pineapple, bell. Grace, balance, oranges, and coconut shell. All nut, peanut. Are you foreshadowing streaming DK64? No. Hell no. I'm never gonna play that game. That game is. it's bad. I'm just gonna say it like that. I'm not getting a, an L1. It's just not happening. And it sucks because it's doing R, but it's, it's not changing the, the stance. So it doesn't help. I don't even know if there's a way to make a change to sand. Maybe with toggle. Not as bad as Super Mario Sunshine. I extremely disagree. Mario Sunshine is great. No. What do I? Is there a way to make them change stands? Like honestly, I think. DK64 could be a great game with the same collectathon, but just if you were able to change monkeys on any room. And then it's a great game. But since that's not an option, then the game is bullshit. Because the, the entire game relies on having to do the same stuff a million times. I need the backtracking didn't age well at all. It's not like Metroid Prime where you do backtracking, but there's some rooms that, for example, look different from different angles. So you discover new things when you do rooms in different order and stuff. And the ambient is very different on the different rooms. That's like good backtracking, you know? Because 64 is just a bad game, honestly. I, I just don't like it, really. I suffer so much with that game. And I'm talking about, I played the game like 20 years ago, well maybe a little bit less, 15 years ago, I don't know, when I was young, okay, I didn't play it when I was uh, old, so I'm not even talking from nostalgia, like blind, nostalgia blind. Okay, I don't think this fucker is, is doing... What I want. I might just go for high kick on on the clone man. Yeah, it doesn't change stance. Whatever, fuck it. Clone man, it is. Actually, got way too hot here. Give me a second. Change my necklace. Twenty-four red con chines. Twenty-four blue con chines. Yeah, but you don't need to collect all of that to beat the game. Actually, beating the game is—you don't have to go for the collectathon. 
Whereas on DK64, yeah, you don't have to 100%, but the collectathon to just beat the game is stupid. It's so stupid. Like, really. It's like, just for Gemini level stupid. So, no. You're never gonna sell me the DK64. I hate that game. <laughs> like, really. <laughs> I, I really hate it. I'm honestly, it, it's also a thing. It's it's not just about the game. Like I'm not being comp nobody's. It's subjective. This is an opinion, of course. I'm talking also from very much from taste, because as great as rare was on that period of time, you know, 64 era. I really, I never got the taste of the 3D platformers of rare. Um, like, the only one, I guess, was just for Gemini, but because it was less about platforming and more about shoot. <laughs> I fell I fell in love with Goldeneye, Perfect R, you know, that shit. But DK64, Banjo, uh, Conquer, all those, I actually hate those games. I, I, I tried, but I never, I could never like those games. And, and again, all of this when I was young. So... Pretty much nothing to do about that. And, and, and I'll say it again, it's more about taste, really. Okay, I'm gonna be low health. Because I want upper uppercuts. Yeah, upper uppercuts and high kicks. That's the important part. Yeah, Conquer is not collector's on at all. Yeah, no. It's just that the frame rate. Oh my god. <laughs> and I, I, I just don't like the story, honestly. I didn't play that much of it. I was never into the the character. I think it, it has some hilarious things. Like, I actually watched a, a playthrough, a little bit of a playthrough of Conquer uh, on Melonax channel. Um. I think it's one of those games that is cool to watch someone else play it instead of play it yourself because it has some hilarious stuff. Like it has a lot of, like, it does cameos of everything, like like Mission Impossible, Matrix, uh, Private Ryan. It's like a million things. So that is like pretty fun, but I, I, I just don't want to play it. <laughs> I'll watch someone else play it. Okay, upper uppercut R. Uh, that's gonna be twice, likely. It's twice, right? Right. Yeah, it's 2 2. Okay. That makes sense. Watching the developers play through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that must be really fun. I really need a Jesus. I really need a method to make these guys change stance. There, there must be a way. Still the same stance. How can I trigger that? Doesn't change there. Nope. Nope. Yeah, the only way for them to change the stance is doing a kick. The kick that I need them to do will change the stance. <laughs> but I can't get that. What, what do we do? Jeez. 
hate these guys. Guess I'm not getting the information I want. Whatever. Try a couple hits, just a couple. I'm gonna give it five hits. Oh, look at that. That's one L. Okay. Um... Retro Beat Tribute 64 controller. I don't know if that's another name for it, but my my controller is a uh, Hori Mini Pad. There you go. Uh, it's inverted. The, the camera is inverted, by the way. <laughs> or is it? Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> They're not the same? Okay. Yeah, it's just a horror mini, but... My opinion, the best N64 controller. Doesn't want to do left. He won't do left. Okay, two more. Two more punches. That's not a bunch. One more punch. That's fine. Okay, fuck it. It's kinda expensive though, the Hori Mini, but it's not really a cheap controller. And a lot of people, like a lot of people, just buy it for as a collector's item. They don't buy it to even play. I hate when people do that, but a lot of people do that, especially with Horis, which is, are such good controllers. <laughs> so it's kind of hard to find them. All right, let's see low kick. Low kick is kind of a is the most controversial one so far, so. Low kick. Okay, I need to be full HP. Looks like the retro beat one is the same mold. Let's take a look at that. What's it called? Ah, uh, it's slightly, slightly different. Looks pretty good though. From, from far away. <laughs> it's slightly different. The D-pad might be better. Oh, look at this. So this is this is the icon on. This is a Hori and a and a retro beat here. Yeah, the, the D-pad might be better. The stick looks about the same. Uh, the the start button is definitely definitely better. 
Because something about the Hori that is not that great is the start button. This thing. It feels great, but it's too... Like, it's not very solid. You know, you can, you can kind of squish it. And in that sense, it's really hard to match. It's, it's not that easy to match. Uh, not like it matters too much, but... And the other thing, the only bad thing about Horis, and by extension, I guess, Retro, Retro Beat, because I, I see the same extension on the C stick. Yeah. They don't actually have full range on the stick. It's impossible to get a full range uh, with your Hori controller. Because it just doesn't reach. Like, the, the plastic doesn't allow you to reach full length. So you get about 90%, I think, or 85. Which, for speedrun, can be a big thing. I actually modified my Hori. I cut it a little bit, so it will have the actual range. Because without it, I, I'm actually not able to do any percent on this game. I can't do any percent on this game without that. Because there is a, a skip that I need full length on the stick. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Mischief Makers. Heavy use of the D-pad, nice. Yeah, th this actually allows for, for a good use of D-pad on N64. <laughs> for the very first time. And, and the D-pad, you know. I mean, the, the control stick, you can use both. It's still, it's kind of small, by the way. If you have big hands, this is not the best controller, I think. I have relatively big hands, but... Yeah. Okay, L. Um, L1. R1. Okay, L2. That's crazy about the reach. Yeah, I'm hoping that Retro B1 has a decent joystick. That's well, the buttons are fine. I think we love it. Yeah, I guess you can do... You can probably see reviews on YouTube. I bet there's people that even compare Retrobeat and, and Hori. Like, I, I bet there's at least a couple videos that do it because there's so many collectors. I hate collectors because <laughs> they make the stuff I need more expensive. That said, one good thing about collectors is the one that make videos. So you can, you know, go to their YouTube channels and be sure about it. Retro Fighters N64 is pretty decent. I think I've seen that. Let's see. Oh yeah, this looks awesome. I think I was thinking about this one at some point. But maybe it it was on development when I was looking for it. I don't remember. But this, this kind of looks like probably the best controller for N64. Although, I'm not very sure about this. Oh, no, no. It, it does have the octagon. The octagon is the most important thing for me on the stick. That's the one thing I absolutely hate about modern controllers. All of them use a circle instead of an octagon, and I hate it. Because he helps so much with angles. Alright, 2L, 1R. Okay, 2, 2R. 3L. So, okay, so that's 3L. Uh, let's say 2R here. Now I need one more R, and we're done. Mm. 
no side, what are you doing? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this might be a glitch on Area 3. Yeah, okay, so it's 33, so that's confirmed. That's, that's good. Makes me happy. Okay, 33. Alright, let's go back low. Uh, well, not yet. Let's, let's go area 2 for another low kick and then back low. I can, I can do both together. Who does low kick on era 2? I love this song. Low kick. Adolfa. Yeah. Makes sense. Alright, area 2, Adolfa. No, that's area three. They might. No, no, they're not the same. No, area three and four are the same. Uh, excuse me. Could damage the arms. Okay, two R. Maybe he doesn't like to do the left. That would suck. Did I kill it? I didn't kill it, right? I hope I didn't kill it. That would be really bad. Okay, 3R. Let's confirm. Now, how do I make this fucker do a, a left kick? It's time to damage. Oh, I guess not. Well, whatever. <laughs> guess not. Yeah, it's, it's one of those. And now no legs. Exactly what I need. Does anyone else do low kick? No. These hybrids don't kill. Get back low then.
Oh, and I guess high kick too. Although that's that's probably gonna be on first try. Another R. Yeah, it doesn't. It just doesn't want to do left. I don't think we're gonna get any left. That's also R. This game's really weird. And another one. So it's gonna be the five I need, right? Yeah, next one's gonna be the five I need. And I'm not getting any L, so I guess. I guess one of those. Yeah, whatever. Nothing to do about that. Let's see. Have make Buddha unbade to try to. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's, it's another one of those. It's so crazy. I actually have no way to know <laughs> if I'm gonna learn faster on left. Yeah, because that's the five. Five times. <laughs> My god. Like, now is the only one that allows me to do that. It's so funny. Yeah, they probably just caught it. Some creatures to always attack with the same one. That's an L. One L. Okay. Um, what do we do? I was one of those people that played Yoshi's Story over and over despite being so easy and short. I actually never played that game. I don't even know how that game looks like. Is it good? The only connection I have with Judge's story is the the stage on on Melee. I've never even seen a, a, a gameplay of it. It's all right. Okay, it seems that I can get L back low. Maybe it's worth it. Let's try it. I'm gonna give it a couple of minutes. Let's see if I if I get it. Oh frames. What's going on with the frames? one of the rare copies that's rated easy. Early childhood instead of E for everyone. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay, one L. Eek. L. 
the game is okay to play for three year old. <laughs> I didn't even knew there was a, such a category for like such young people. Crazy. This fucker always grab grapples two times before doing another attack. Okay, you learn. It's good. This is another song that I really love. Things easy for me. Ah, oops. That's good. Oh, look at that! <laughs> we got a uh, knockdown on, on place. That is so unlikely to happen. Actually, that that only happened because I have. A ton of HP. So I didn't get knocked down. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> it's such an unlikely thing to happen. And now now we're stuck here. This, this fucker is, is going to do bad things to the S. Uh, I need to get rid of the power bar a little bit. that changed the RNG? Probably not. Oh, it does. Okay, good. That's a good way to change the RNG. Uh, did I fuck it up? Yeah, I fucked it up. This song didn't actually appear on Fountain and Dreams in the Kirby games. Oh, that sucks. Until the GBA remake Nightmare and Dreamline, which came after Melee. <laughs> that happens. That definitely happens. Was it. Um, was it something similar with Fire Emblem? Hang on. That. Like, we got a, a character for Fire Emblem before the game was out. I don't remember, actually, because I don't know about the old Fire Emblems. What is this? In the West until... till after Smash. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one. That, yeah, that, that was the same. Yeah, so nobody knew... Who the fuck were Marth and Roy <laughs> at that point? 
Yeah, because the first Fire Emblem was the quote unquote blazing sword on the west in GBA. Okay, now let's R. Let's R. Give me L, please. No, 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 no. Come on. Maybe if I do like a different move after. Okay, good. Oh, that was another one. That was a good one. I didn't saw that. Uh, where? And still hasn't. Yeah, actually. <laughs> yeah, I mean that happens. So, it's well, it's like the the advanced wars, or not the advanced wars, the the wars saga. That is such a forgotten one. You know, everything before Advance Wars. Which, by the way, was f before Fire Emblem. Famicom Wars, there you go. Uh, what do we do here? This. There you go. Okay, I think that's five. Let's see. Okay, so it's the same as R. The exact same. This is really looking like just a glitch. In favor of anime waifus. Yeah. I was thinking about... Like... I was thinking... What if the team, because it's pretty much the same team that, that did Advanced Wars, historically at least, and Fire Emblem. What if the team just decided to go full waifu on Advanced Wars? You know, like, I don't know if I would be a total, total fan of that, but if that can, can revive the saga, I'm down for it. Because Advanced Wars is such a good, like, I... Honestly, I, I really prefer Advanced Wars over Fire Emblem. I love to have fungible units, you know, that you can just go and kill and, and not having to care about your characters dying. And, I, and I, I like the setting too. And I feel like for a little bit, Advanced Wars had a little bit of waifu thing, you know, with Nell and all that. But, of course, it was not nearly as much as Fire Emblem. That's for sure. Okay, that's not what I want. what I want. I cannot hear this song anymore without hearing the shilling dude rap. It, it's like, it's playing on my head right now. Alright, that was four, so it's definitely gonna be five. Looks like five. Come on. Give me 
what I want. No. Bug it. It's five. It has to be five. All right. Um. Okay, I have a Naos on area two, so that's that can be uh, useful. And it's not that hard to get it. Yo, Evelyn, how are you doing? Is that Smash Bros? Yes. This is Smash Bros. Melee soundtrack. You're wearing the trippy top again. Yeah, I, you're getting more ray effect, right? <laughs> yeah, that's that's something very classic with this with strips, stripes. <laughs> is it that or or is it my buddy? Are the bags supposed to be part of the body or the clothing? Which bags? Oh, this thing. <laughs> um, I think, you know, my theory is that this hybrid was is a plant. I think it's a Rafflesia. You know Rafflesias? These things? the second biggest flower in the world I think they they try to to do that because it, it kind of has those holes you know and it's kind of a similar thing and if, if you merge this thing with a human you know maybe it'll end up like that and they stink I know Rafflesia stink a lot Biplume, exactly. Yeah, that same thing. Biplume was was inspired by Reflections. Yep. Okay. Hello. One. Arlo. One. Two on L. Nice. This really looks like a glitch. Like they missed. Um... Hang on. Because, okay, so this is my theory. Because all of this is arbitrary, they have to input these things manually. They have to put on a part of the code. This technique will be learned on this number of hits on this area. And there's a full list, a full table of all those values input by humans, you know, because there's no formula. It, all of them don't make sense. So, manual input. And what happened is that one of these lovely Japanese developers just got confused on one of the lines and they input a different number for one technique, which is low kick on left and right for some reason. That is my theory. They look closer to picture plans. What is that? Is that a... Sounds like a... carnivore. Yeah, kinda. Although I, I think the color is more on the Rafflesia side. But they definitely look like like this. But we can we can agree that it's a flower, at least, <laughs> most likely. They have acid leaking around the end. Of yeah, yeah, that's for sure. So I guess that that's another point for that.
me go for the beginning again. Just have to be extremely sure about this. Okay, one R. Two R. Yeah, okay, so two R, that means it's gonna be three of those. And two of left. One left. Yeah, three R. Okay. The lovely Japanese developers making minor coding mistakes. <laughs> I would love to to talk with these developers. But I don't know Japanese. Okay, that's 2L. Is it is it 3 then? Oh. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> let me let me try that again. One, two, no, no, it's two, but it kind of looked like three last time. <laughs> Is it random? <laughs> no, it's not random. I know it's not random. Uh, one more. It's one more. Okay. One. Okay, Wh one R, one L. Two, yeah, okay, it's two. Is it possible to become one punch man? Yes. I actually have a... I have a file that is kind of one punch man. Give me, give me just one second. I need to grind this down. There's a low kick. Three, two. Yeah, so if, if you go, if you max out stats on this game, you'll end up like this. So, just kill everything with like your lowest power bar on one shot with punches and like hooks are just the fastest way to do it so you just wait for it then run and then kill it and pretty much everything dies on one shot on, on later hybrids you need to wait for more power bar if I remember correctly, I don't remember correctly. Exactly. Yeah, but not even full power bar. So you're basically one punch man. Here you need full power bar. Because this fucker has a lot of defense. And it has almost 5k, I think. And then Diaz has like 5.5k, I think. So you probably also need... Although he has less defense, so you actually don't need full. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you go by less than that on this because he has less defense than Migoya. It's pretty cool, but uh, having <laughs> to reach that level, you need like I don't know, like 300 hours <laughs> of leveling up on ultimate survival. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> I still have those files. If I ever wanted to do more runs of that individual level survival, I would do it. To maybe get a better videos and commentary about it, even. 
they're not very fun to watch though, because you grind a lot for luck. But regardless. Okay. Twice as long as it takes to get level 99. It's the first reactor episode. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, here, max level is 100, reaching 100, I guess you can do it on 100 hours, maybe? I think I reach 100 on like 130 hours. But that's overall level. Then you have to level your limbs. Every limb has another level, an offense level. And leveling up that, it's hard. And that's why it takes the like 300 or so hours. And then if you want to level defense, which is absolutely useless, by the way. Because the more defense you have, the more offense your enemy has. And the formula it scales better with offense than with defense. So at the end, if you reach maximum defense, you will actually get more damage than if you have low defense. It's super stupid. <laughs> but if you want to do it, <laughs> for some reason, that will take you like 500 hours. <laughs> it's insane. Okay, um, I'm gonna go now three this time. Where's this thing? I, I don't see it. Now three, there you go. So then I can show the low kick oddity here. Yeah, so that's first try. Just ridiculous. Let's go for that again, so I can show the right side. And so far this seems to be the only technique that is different on sides. Maybe it reacts to my injured body, because he's just doing punches now. Interesting. Uh, that was hard. For sure. So that's 3-1. 3-1. Alright, let's see. Is, is there anything else? Um, well, I guess there's back, back spin kick and back blow. Yeah, okay. Uh, I might try those. I know it stinks to get those, but... Let's see if there's a, a hybrid that does both. I know I can get back blow from this one. Let's start with that. Oh no no no! This no. This that sponge, upper sponge, not that though. Never mind. Um, upper into the bait. 
Okay, I have Clone Woman, Men in Black. Clone Woman is probably the best. Let's see if it does um, left at all first. Okay, it does. At least kicks. Yeah, it does. Okay, that, that's pretty good. Um, so. Okay, L hike. I'm grinding my stuff. Okay, I need to go back to safe state. Three R. Okay, that is that correct? Yeah. Okay. So let's get a a nail then. One more L to do it too. I didn't learn, and it was 3, but he also was weak. Maybe that matters. Hmm. Does that matter? Is it always gonna be weak? Jeez. Why are you getting so many weeks? With that. Is it actually four? No, I don't trust that week. It might be four. Oh my god. Okay. It it might be. Hang on. It's definitely three on R. I would hate if this is actually four, because then uh, everything's gonna be different. <laughs> or not everything, but it opens the door for lots of things being different. And not just low kick. Do it again. was weak. Should I trust a weak or not? <laughs> Whatever. Okay, 2L. Both are on 2, so they should learn. Okay, that learns. So R is 3. There's no doubt about it. I 
And even with the weak one, it was it was three. So weeks doesn't matter. Me punch. Give me any help. I know you want to do it. She can do it. Why do you stop doing L? No, nope. you won't do it. It's four. Jeez, that was the third one, and it didn't learn. Fuck. Oh. Oh, I hate it. Oh, there's not even a symmetry that I can work with. Ugh, this fucking game, dude. Ugh. I mean, it might be even five, who knows? <laughs> it's more than three, that's the only thing I know. <laughs> Why would you do this? Why would you do this, developers? Why? There's, there's no reason to do this. You're gonna make 100% so hard. So inconsistent. Why? <sighs> okay. And then I can't actually know how much it's on on the other one, on area two, because those fuckers don't do it on that side. Spin kick. That's do it. Right. 
free arm. Maybe it doesn't change sides. Yeah. It doesn't look like it's gonna change sides. Oh, it does. Okay. Okay. So, three so far. Four. Oh, that's five. Okay. Three. Can I counter this? Yeah, I, I kind of can. It does a lot of the same one in a row. Okay, 5-5. Five, five. That's good. That's good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so, so far, there seems to only be two techniques that are sort of glitch. Uh, and I can, I can move on then, into area 4, fucking finally area 4, after all this, we can go to area 4, so, men in black, same fucker as yesterday, I mean not yesterday, the other day. Kick L, kick R, punch L, R. Oh, I think it, it doesn't do back blow, does it? I don't remember. Okay, that's. Okay, there you go. That's the bad blow in you. Our bad blow. So far, it only do it does. R punches and L kicks. Two back low. Yeah, that makes sense. That actually makes sense. And then the left back low, it's probably gonna be five. I'm, I'm guessing. Or it's. I'm gonna put it on question mark because I actually don't know. Okay. Good. Yo, how you doing, Yankee? <laughs> How's it going? So, I can still get the kick, I guess. I kill it. I didn't want to kill it. Okay, that's good. We got one R, finally. So, maybe I can get this. And... R... yeah. Okay. Another R. Being good so far. Very good. 
love to get a, an L1 if this fucker allows me there's an L back bow I can actually calculate this but it's it's gonna suck so much uh, okay but I'm, I'm just one hit away from Geek that I want. Come on, come on. Good for me. No, not that one. Rarity Harity Melee. Because no one ti likes time out. Yeah, actually. <laughs> like I guess you can hear it on like on Yeah, not really. <laughs> I was thinking on how's it called? On classic. Because classic has time. But you are most likely just beating the the level before time runs out. And yeah, on, on All Star there's no time, so... <laughs> I wanna play melee so bad. Like, I haven't played melee so much. I actually installed the sleepy thing. And I play a little bit. But I don't think Chile has the best, uh, I don't know, ping. Because I was getting a lot of lag. Or maybe my, my setup is, is not great, I don't know. Oh my god. Come on, just one kick. It's always, it's always the man in black. No, the other one, dude. That didn't learn. Then I already got it. Okay, fuck it. I'm good. Um... Give it a couple of minutes. Let's see if I can get back blow L. Going like this, please. You're doing great. You're doing great, dude. Nice. Five five confirm. Good. Five and back spin kick. Okay, great. Now I only need three back blows. Now we're done. Okay, 
Nice. It's three. Okay. Oh, that's so weird. That is so weird, but I guess uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't even know what to think about this, but it's. Oh my god, whatever. Okay. You love Mr. Game and Watch? I love this song so much. There's something so weird about this song. And, and like, I love how they they mix the sound effects of Mr. Game & Watch. It's a pretty cool song. Okay, um, we're not done <laughs> with this fucker. <laughs> Just because it's a safe bed. Uh, let's see. I can get for another one though. Uh, maybe I'm clone women. Hang on. I kick. Punch. One second. Okay, let's go clone one. Okay, upper uppercut. Yeah, that makes sense. Hook. Yeah. I don't think she does low kick. Yeah. So let me go low health to get a high kick. Yeah, confirm to an R and high kicks one, respected. Okay, that's everything I can get from this car. Uh, let's go for a clone man then. Okay, meal side. Meat uppercut. Can I get anything else from this guy? Low kick, right? Yeah. Okay, low kick zone one. From left. I don't know if I can get it from the right. Maybe not on this fight. Give me a second, I need to... Oh, never mind. No. <laughs> I got confused. Uh, I can also get low kick on... On Men in Black. I think it's more likely to get both sides. This song compares DKC stream. <laughs> DKC is also kind of a painful game. I love that game, but it's kind of painful, I think. There's there's one spot in particular when you get to the world of snow that I find it extremely hard because you don't get a safe spot at the beginning and it's like a bunch of very, very hard stages on that part. The first one especially is very hard and I hate it. 
but the game is awesome and, I, and the, the music is awesome the only game i would play though it's it would be probably dkc2 because i feel like that one has less punishment than dkc1 or even the KC3 has less punishment too. And I don't know, you you know you, you know about me, Stella, about me playing casual games on stream. It doesn't work very well, I think. Yeah, and it, and it makes sense that the, the sequels were better because, you know, first game on the... for Rare, on the console, you're still learning. And it's kind of crazy that it's still a great game, <laughs> being the first one, you know? But I, I think DK2 is, is like such a masterpiece. Okay, so R1. And DKC3, I feel like it's a great game, but it got a bunch of stuff wrong. Especially the ending, uh, the, like the hundred, the hundred percent. If if you want to hundred percent the game, I I don't think it's the best experience. While doing 100% on, on DKC2 is still very hard, but for me it feels more like a challenge that is worth doing it. Whereas on 3 it feels like, I don't know, I like some of the stuff, I like some of the special stages. But I don't like the, some of the side quests. I think the idea is great, but I don't think the execution was the best. Stop harassing my legs. Thanks. One more kick. One R kick. We're done. R low kick. No, you can do it. Okay. That was two times. So that means it's gonna be three. I don't even know. I, I don't even need to go for that. To know that it's gonna be three. These numbers are so weird. <laughs> Cause pretty much all the other techniques didn't change. Except for upper back blow. Back blow change for some reason. Who knows why? Okay, middle front, main black. Okay, I cannot get any psychics. That's interesting. Yeah, no psychics on area four. How do I got middle psychic? I don't think I got it. No, I can get front kicks and middle hook. I don't know about middle hook. Middle hook. Long woman. Long man. No. Yeah, I can get middle hook from Capella. All right, let's get that. Oh my God, the same is that the same bot as before? No, that's a different bot. <laughs> what the fuck? These bots. 
Like, it's been such a long time since we got this kind of bots on on Twitch. I remember when I first started Twitch, I got a, a bunch of those. And it was very annoying. Goodbye. That was an everyday thing when I started on Twitch. Definitely don't miss them. Okay, and now we're on 40. I'm actually gonna go to a, for a BRB after this song, which is just just ended. Okay. <laughs> to go to the bathroom and all that. Let's do a BRB. You love spam? <laughs> I mean, I love spam when it's done by real people. Otherwise, I hate it. <laughs> Alright. Um, how can I put a song without... Uh, altering my my playlist. Are you saying can't admit not the annoying people? <laughs> All right, we're gonna imagine a song. B R B. 